Hello. Hello there, me from the from the past. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Well, sorry, I haven't got my even got my snooker or my chalk or anything. Snooker stick. It's all going wrong. Don't know where the fuck Chris Evans, not that one, is. But I mean, what can you do? What can you do with a guy who doesn't even show up to work because he's got some kind of life or something? Let just tell me if this works. Oh, I can't even fucking see the chat room. And I'll get you. I'll get the chat room up here. Oh, you can see. Yeah, you can see a, the board a bit. I could leave this camera on. Oh shit. Oh. Um. Where's my ach? Oh, it's just a disaster. It's all gone wrong. Hello, welcome to the fourth preliminary round of uh, me one versus me two versus me three versus me four to me forty snooker. Um, let's just find out if you can hear me on this, uh, particular one. Let's have a look. Um, that's way behind it. Come on. I'll just, let's see if, let's see if I'm a bit behind. Uh, what is it? I've given up my night out with my wife for this. I mean, my night in with my wife. Uh, can you hear? Look, I can see that subscribe. What's going on? I'm going to try taking this off and on again. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can hear me, but you can't see me. Well, I mean, that's no good, is it? I mean, I guess we could do it from there. We can do it from there. Okay, we'll do it from there. And, you know, Chris Evans is completely sacked, 100% sacked. I've got my microphone on. I'll just text him to see if he... I mean, what? He's not even texted about. What's he doing? Having sex with a lady? What's going on? Welcome to... I see, I haven't had time to even choose the arena. I, I, you know, I was chilling out with my wife, relaxing all cool, having some cherry beer. Not actually cherry beer. Uh, and uh, thought, you know, I'll just groove on up at 10 to get it all sorted out. Has it worked? No, it hasn't. Welcome to... Oh, let's go for Gerard Houllier. It's the Gerard Houllier Arena. Um, here we are. Uh, he's the 73-year-old French football manager. He's died from complications from heart surgery. You may have heard of him in this instance. Um, he's died. But the beauty is because, uh, unfortunately, uh, Paul Scott, his family got in touch. Is it Paul Scott? Can't read. Doug Scott got into, they got upset because they knew I was going to misread his name because of my bad handwriting. We are um, we're going to attempt to uh, give you some kind of snooker right now. Um, we're in the preliminary rounds. This is the last preliminary two preliminary. I've only had one beer. Frames. Uh, Neanderthal me beat fist of fun me. Motorcycling me beat left handed me. Italian me beat competitive me. If you can hear uh, tape in the background, I can. That's my wife. Uh, doing the Christmas presents next door. It's going to be off. That's going to be off-putting as well. Um, uh, teenage me beat the Chinese me. Impressionist me. Very good at doing impressions of the other players. Beat uh, robot me. And uh, king of the world me beat sliding doors me. I'm delighted about both of those. Um, today we are seeing um, in the Gerard Houllier arena. Meninist me 29. Who's won, for, played one frame and lost one frame. Playing me 39, me 29 versus me 39, and me 30, oversensitive me, playing me 40. You may get a chance to uh, choose the um, characteristic of me 40. I might leave that up to people in the chat room. 145 people in to see this, so thank you very much. Um, even though we're late and even though this is going to be terrible. If you have swaps, sit down. Jim has some swaps to give out, to swap with and sell. If you have swaps for your... I've just finally got my stickers through. And uh, looking good. Looking very good. Thank you. A few people getting their awards through today. and just doing up my shirt. Because, you know, I don't want to make you too sexy. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, what's been going on today? Not a lot. I'm a bit... I was a bit tired. And then I had a beer and felt better. And now 
My world has collapsed. My snooker camera isn't working. I've jiggled it around. My Chris Evans is not responding to me. I hope he hasn't died because if he is dead, then I can't really do anything, as you can see. Um, can I raise the camera a bit? No, I can't. We'll see. We'll see when we get to that bit. Um, probably can actually, can I? Let's have a look. Oh, is that as high as it goes now? Now I fiddle with that. Look, now it's got worse because I fiddled with it. I thought I could lift it up, but it's not like that. Look, that's, that's going to be all right. Look, you'll be able to see. You can see pretty much everything there. That's all right. Might be to put it on a little box or something. We'll work it out. We'll work our way through. Uh, if you're listening on the audio podcast, good news. The video podcast is going to be worse than, uh, than anything we can do. Um... I just don't want to dick around. There's so many things on this desk that are uh, important. I don't want to dick around with it too much. Let's give. Well, let's do the interviews first, and then see what we can do about the camera. Tool. Okay, that's a possibility. Um, welcome. It's been. It's absolutely lovely to be here. Can I raise my jeans a bit? No, that's what the people watch it for the the bottom. They like to see the bit a bit of ass. Beautiful bit of ass. Um But also luckily the commentators are so good you don't you know, I was gonna do it in darkness. Let's just check the I've got two stream decks now, maybe that's what's done this. The stream decks have overloaded it. No. Nah. No good, is it? Right, uh, let's see what we... Let's just get on with playing the snooker and, and we'll try and ignore this embarrassment. Numbers are going down. Plummeting as people realise what nightmare we're having here. Um, what a disaster. Right, I can't remember how any of this works. I've dropped my book again. Have I, where's my little book gone? I need my book. Oh, oh it's, on the, it's on my chair. I'm really not that drunk. Oh, uh, Chris Evans has returned. Uh, he can't log in. Let me just have a look and see if I can get him logged in. Oh, fucking hell. What a stupid palaver. He was doing, <laughs> he was doing the bins. <laughs> oh, dear. Um... Let's see if he can t sort anything out and see if he can do it in the background. Um, I would imagine I've done something uh, wrong to the cameras, but they do all seem to be plugged in and I haven't unplugged them. And it might have, I've moved it around a bit, so we might need to look at it. Chris Evans is coming in. It's all very exciting. I've already did the, I did the bins much earlier. My bins are today as well, but I did them a lot earlier. So we might be able to, um, we might have to go off air for a short period of time. Two more people have tuned in to see what's going on. We've had a bit of a, a camera malfunction. And um, here comes Chris. Has he, has, has he changed it for you? Yeah, look, it's gone over to here. He can see it's all black. He's looking. He's, I did that. He's put me in. Oh, he's trying the film commentary. Come Look, he's come back into this camera. I tried that, Chris. You know, that's not going to He thinks just by going back out and in again, it's going to work. But look. That hasn't worked. Um, here I am again. He can't understand it. He's going down to video capture device. Quite exciting for me. You can't see any of this, what he's doing. He's magically operating my camera. Video capture device, ad existing, Stuka camera. He seems unclear. I think he might be drunk. He's added the Snook camera back in in another place. Now he's just seems to have given up. Try. Oh no! Here he comes. I think the camera's broken. What do you think, kids? It's, you know, it's just been sitting up there. Cobwebs all over it. He's trying to activate it. Nothing's happening. Yeah, it may be something he can't uh, change from over there. 
I have tried turning it off and on again. I've tried unplugging the camera. I've tried plugging it back in again. All I can think is that that extra stream deck is overloading the thing we've got the stream decks. That's the only thing that's changed. I wonder if Chris Evans will... I mean, we can't put this in out as a podcast, can we? I'm just asking. don't know if he can hear me. He might be watching. Uh, maybe, he says. Maybe it could be that. Let me try and unplug the new one of these stream decks and see what happens then. Ah, as long as the one with the game on it still works. Mm, that's not looking good though, is it? Doesn't look good. I think the camera may have broken. God, what's he done now? Hello, I'm in game mode. He's come back. Oh, 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 that's me. That's the snooker camera. He's going into the... Oh. That's me there, look. I mean, in a way, is this not more exciting? Oh, what's that? What's that, Chris? What's that, Chris Evans, not that one? He's doing work. He's, this, he's working like a, a maniac. I mean, in a way, this none of this is his fault. He's gone the oh, he's gone the wrong camera. He's gone the right camera. <sighs> what? We're back, but without the little thing on it. Well, this this has changed everything. And actually, that looks not bad. I did dick around with that camera, but that's not that's all right, isn't it? That's in an all right position. You can see all my the mess in my office. Try and guess what I bought my wife for Christmas. That's no good. It's gone back black again. Exciting. This is more exciting than the snooker. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Look at that. He's even got the thing back in and everything. Well, there's this other snooker stick lying there. You can see what my. Try and see what I bought my wife for Christmas. He's not completely useless. That's the thing about Chris Evans, not that one. He's all right. Uh, what about the Andy McH scoreboard? Good point, Chimpo Tot. We'll see if that works. Well, this has been one of the more exciting, like 16 people have tuned in once they heard what was going on. Uh, look at how, what a mess it is there. Awful. Awful mess. Wow, it's all working. That's fantastic. Okay, right, we'll crack on. Thank you, Chris Evans. Not that one. You're not. Let it go on record that you are not completely useless. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I have not got my wife the uh, problem with men for Christmas. Um, ah, dear. Welcome to uh, the final preliminary frame of the Me 1 to Me 40 snooker tournament. Um, and uh, today we are playing the final two of this frame. We'll know all the 32 players in the hat for next week. Baby over Christmas, we'll do one a day. Who knows? Um, me 29, the meninist me, is playing Me 39. But who is he? We will find out now because I could just see me 29. The menace to me is sitting down right here. He comes. Thanks, Rich. Uh, or is it a problem that a white man is appearing on TV? Is then is that not enough diversity? Well, it's all right. We actually have that covered in this uh, show because uh, there's all sorts of races and, and countries covered and sexes covered and sexualities covered. Yeah. It would have to be with the BBC, wouldn't it? Yeah, this isn't the BBC. Yeah, but you're trying to get it on the BBC. Yeah, very much so. The pro in tw in 2066, the the indigenous population of this country will be in the minority. By what do you mean by indigenous? What, what are you trying to say? 
this is what Keir Starmer should have done. People who were born here. So people who are born here. The, the, there'll be more people living here than are born here. So what you're saying is every year, 60, 70, 80 million people from abroad will move into the UK. You know what I'm saying, Richie. I do know what you're saying. Society is actually sexist against men. I hope you lose. And I know who you're playing. <laughs> and to be honest, there's not much difference between you and him. But um, how's, the, how's the snooky coming? Pretty well, Rich, because I don't have any time to... Um, my wife doesn't see me anymore. Uh, and um, I'm just in on my own a lot. COVID? No. No. So you've been playing a lot of snooker. I've been playing a lot of snooker. I'm going to try and make up for the fact that... Uh, you know, I lost the frame I played, but... Was that due to me or was that due to political correctness gone mad? That is my question to you. I think it was due to you playing shit, wasn't it? Playing shit, snooker. Let's see if I can find your me 29. Here you are. It's come straight. Oh, what a torn. What a play. Pl turn straight to your page, man, and it's me. You played gay me three. Yeah. You weren't happy about that, were you? Blooming BBC putting on what? Like literally one fortieth of this is gay, is gay. That's much less than, um, well, out is out anyway. That's much less than the uh, that it's about a tenth of people are gay and bisexual, I believe. Um, that's just a guess. Jerry Stiller died the day you played uh, me three. By the way, you lost two one, uh, having gone one nil up, but uh, then were soundly thrashed by gay me three. All right, well, I'm going to beat whoever we're up against now. Well, I think you will like. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this more. It's mo it's, it probably is a meninist as well. Um, I can see it's just sitting down. It's me, 39, playing me, 29. And it's the pervert wanking in a bush me. Hello, Richard. Oh, so sorry, you just caught me uh, wanking in a bush. Well, you're not in a bush. I was in a bush, then I heard my name and I ran up here. But, I, you know, why waste? Oh, I mean, it's not much of a character. I am the perverse part of you, Richard, which, uh, you know, is only one thirtieth of you. I am incredibly vanilla, I have to say, for I'm a very vanilla man for someone who uh, portrays so many perverts and sex sex worker users and people who've cut their cocks off. In reality, I'm a very boring person. Yeah, but... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> is that what a pervert does? I imagine so. I just had sex with a goat. Really, is that as best you can do? I just had sex with a goat that was having sex with an ant. Wow, that is quite perverted. Uh, oh, sorry, hold on, that was that was you. Oh, hold on, I've got, I've got, I, hold on, that was me going, whoa. And I don't masturbate, and, and certainly in front of a webcam. I do, I'm doing it now. Oh, I'm touching myself. Oh, oh, oh I've come off. And how do you think, <laughs> how do you think you're going to get on at snooker? Well, luckily for me, Richard, uh, playing snooker is one of the things that sexually arouses me. Holding a big stick in my hand, fiddling with my balls. Yeah, I, I like I um I like being spanked on the bottom. I mean, is that perverse? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. In this day and age, what is perverse? Nothing anymore. I think having sex with a goat that's having sex with an ant. That is quite perverse. Are you reaching around and touching the ant yourself? Of course. Okay, then that's perverse. Um, Shall we just play a game of snooker and see how that goes? Because it's half past. Um, let's, let's play some snooker. So we're going to go over to commentator one, commentator two. Hopefully it's going to work. Let's see how it goes. Let me know if you can't hear me. Thank you, Richard. Welcome to... It seems to be all working fine, Rich. Thank you. Uh, I was worried uh, I was going to have to really describe the game properly today due to... Um... <laughs> Just laugh at Andy McH's uh, description of me 39. <laughs> Sound is good. Is there a ghost? Can you see a ghost? Here we are at the Gerard Houllier Arena. And uh, may you rest in peace. And there's a box in the way of the game. There's a green screen in the way of the game. Here's me, 29. He's a meninist. He believes men are best. And he's certainly done a good... Oh, he nearly pots the blue. And Piers Pervert. Oh, he's wanking with the... 
with a snooker stick there. And I think it sexually arouses him to miss, so that may be a problem for him if he wants to win the game. Meninist me gives it a crack. Nothing. No, no points at all so far. Unusual at this stage of the game. Here comes me 39. Oh! One went in, but the other went, went in too, just like in a, an orgy, probably. So, four points to Meninist me. Surely one of the most unpopular players. And here he comes. Oh, misjudges that. Fails to pop. Oh, and pervert me. Perversely not potting the balls. Meninist me, his little balls ju ju jumped around there, but to no avail. Pervert me. Oh, um, he definitely hit that with his cue. <laughs> So that's four more points to Meninist Me. He's potted a red, but he did just knock it in with his cue, which is, uh, uh, that's illegal. If you've got the tea towel, you'll know that's illegal. Meninist Me. Oh, he's gone in off. So, so far, it's calculating, calculating. Me, 29, 8. Me, 39, 4. Entirely made up of fouls so far. This is uh, possibly a first. No legally potted ball so far. Here comes Pervert Me. He's gone in off as well, so it's another. This is quite extraordinary. Calculating, calculating, me 29, 12, me 39, 4. And here comes Meninist me. He's potted. He's potted and then expertly snookered himself right behind a red. He's going to have to go for the pink, but I don't think, I'm not even sure he can go for the pink. He's missed it. So he's got one, but given away six. This is one of the worst frames of snooker we've ever seen. Maybe my wife next door, sorry, Richard's wife next door putting him off. It's 13-10. Here comes pervert me. Well, he actually had a clearer shot of that than he thought. Meninist me want to make up for that mistake. Oh, he's rolled it. Ah, oh, beautifully played by the Meninist. And, you know, maybe men are better than women. Maybe that's what we're learning here. He's potted the pink. Unfortunately, the pink's gone in front of the red I think he wanted to be on. Didn't think of that. And it's not the first time a meninist has been stopped by something pink. Am I right? Uh, but look, oh, I thought he got it, but he hadn't. So break of seven to me 29. And he's storming ahead. Calculating, calculating. Me 29, 20. Me 39, 10. But surely even a pervert can pop this ball and then get on the black if he's very careful. Oh, he's gone too far for the black, I think, has he? Oh, the camber of the table's taken that back a bit. Should, can he do it? If he just hits it lightly on one side, a pervert should be used to that. He's done it. He's back in the game, my fine friends. He's potted the black. He's put a red and a black. That's a break of eight. Highest break of the match so far. Can he make it nine? No, he, he's potted the pink. So, gets eight, gives away six. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Calculating, calculating, me 29, 26. Me 39, 18. And this is more like the old days of self-playing snooker. Two bad players. Oh, the Meninist me does a beautiful pot there. Doesn't get on the blue, which I think is what he wanted to do. Possibly on the green. No, oh, the cue, the chalk flies under the table, but he's got a point and he hasn't fouled. So that's something. Takes him up to 27. <sighs> Pervert me needs to pull something out of his pants now. Oh, just hit that too, too acutely. Meninist me straight at the table. He's potted. He's potted the red. He's right on the black. He's potted the black. That top pocket. Getting some action today, full of reds. He's got a break of eight. He hasn't, has he hasn't quite got onto. Oh, oh my God, he just smashed that. And I thought he's gonna put the blue in, but he got away with it. He scored a break of eight. He's up to calculating, calculating. Me 29, 35, me 39, 18. It's hard for a pervert to get time to play snooker. And the Meninist Me's many hours on his own in his flat. 
That was the pervert me, wasn't it? Failing to make contact there with a the score. At least he got the he hit the ball. Per Meninist me. Oh, rolls it beautifully. He's potted. He's playing nice snooker here. You may not agree with his political views. Maybe you would do. Maybe you think society is sexist against men, but he's got to break a six and you can't argue with that. Can he make it seven? Oh, he nearly does. Oh, he nearly goes in off. But he's got to break a six and it's looking pretty bad news for the perverted wanking in a bush, Richard Herring. 41 plays 18. Can the pervert come back? Can he get a snooker here? Oh, he tried to get behind the brown, I think, but failed very badly. And yes, the men in this me. Again, has managed to snooker himself, I think. No, he can hit the brown. Oh, nearly pots it. Doesn't, but he moves up to 42. Pervert me. He is quite a long way behind. What is it, 24 behind? He can still do this. He's trying to get a snooker, I think. Oh, nearly goes in off. Man, this me. Oh, he's gone in off. And so many fouls in this. There's now 20 between these two. It's 42 plays 22. And pervert me just needs to get a hold of himself. Get in a bush. Let's see if he can pull this back. That wasn't good. That was not good. And that is a... Pretty easy shot for me, 29, he's got it. And the way the balls are positioned, this could be a big break to finish. He's got the black, he's on the yellow. I think this could be game over. He's got the yellow. That's a break of 10. I don't think he can get this green. He's just smashed it and hoped for the best. Oh, it hasn't quite gone enough. Break of 10 to Meninist Me puts him up to 52 versus 22. There's 30 points between them now. Pervert Me needs a snooker. He cleverly doesn't pop the green. Not so cleverly, he's left it on for Meninist Me. Who, it jingled and jangled in the pocket. Like Boris Johnson meeting the EU chiefs. So this is pervert me, trying to avoid potting. Get a snooker, failed. Oh no, he's got it, Meninist me. is snookered because of the camera at the table and he's hit the pink. And that's uh, six points. Takes up to 28, 52 plays 28. It's a free ball, he's gonna use the pink as a green. He's missed it and got in off, so that's four points to Man, I think the man in this me is going to win this. Pervert me just doesn't seem to be taking it seriously. Is that a wasp? There's a big wasp in here today. It must, I don't know if you saw it, it's up there. It's a really big one. It nearly stung me. So man in this me. Oh, I had a clear shot there. It's a living wasp. Pervert me. He needs a snooker. Oh, tries to get behind the brown, fails. Meninist me. He's gone in off. There's a big wasp attacking me. Ah! Could have killed it then. I think... Oh. Who, got, who got the... Oh, I've forgotten where we are in the match now. Was that pervert me that went in off? Anyone remember? There's a big wasp. Who did the in-off? Was it pervert me did the in-off? Did someone in the chat room tell me? Number 29 was in-off. Oh, that's right, of course it was. So that's four points. This has brought everyone back into the game. It's 4.56 plays 32. I'm not that drunk. There's now 24 points between them and 25 on the table. Bring it on, pervert me. It would be amazing to come back here. Oh, that's not good. Man and this me. Is a safe pair of hands, or is he? Oh, he is. That was lucky. So, pervert me again needs a snooker. Everything's happening, isn't it, today? Oh, pervert me. 
Menonist to me. Oh, has a good track cracker that you might as well, might as well. Pervert me. Oh, he's gone in off. And that might be the end of this for him, I think. He's playing like he's a drunk who doesn't care about snooker. His only saving grace is that the brown can't go in that corner pocket. Ooh, men and it's me. Might have potted it anyway. Look at that. That's an amazing shot. Can only assume he did that on purpose. Maybe men and aren't that bad after all, because look at this. Is This could be one of the biggest whitewashes in South Blank snooker history. Oh, how did he miss that? That was the easy one. He's got nine. He is now 40 points ahead with eight, 13 points on the table. It's 72 plays 32. I think Pervert Me's just enjoying the humiliation and is not giving up. Man, and it's me cuts that a bit fine, but will it double in? No. Pervert Me. Oh, misses. He, he's definitely getting off on this. Gaggly dig, gaggly dig, me 29, 78, me 39, 32. And here comes Man, and it's me. He's missed that six points. Oh. Here comes. Uh, pervert, perverted me, he's hit it this time. Men and it's me, just needs to pop this pink and it's all over. Oh, he's fucked that up. And um, pervert me. Well, I think he wanted to put himself out of his misery there, but uh, has failed to do. Men and it's me. Oh, come on, just let it end. Pervert me. Oh, he nearly missed it. He got it on the rebound, but he's let surely Menonis me can do this now. Oh, what a fucking cunt. Pervert me. I mean, trying to pot it. Why didn't he just give it? Oh, he's got a snooker. Has he? Not quite. Oh, but Menonis me hits the, <laughs> hits the black. Uh, that is him up to 45, playing 78. Pervert me. I think Man and It's Me might have got this now. Oh, what a fucking load of shit. Well, if Pervert Me can come back from this, he's gone in off after miss queuing. It's 78 plays 51. And Pervert Me is still, still in here. Could be one of the most extraordinary frames of self-playing snooker history. Man and It's Me. Oh, very gently done. Pervert me. Trying to get it behind the black. That's not going to work. Melanin to me. Come and just get it down, dude. Oh, what an utter tosser. And pervert me. Maybe you'll just accept. Yes, he's accepted it. He's going to take the 13, I think. He's going to take that to the bank. It hasn't gone enough. And that's not, that's not bad. He's made it. Oh. Oh, well, that's actually respectable. 78 plays, 64. Man, this me has won his first ever frame of snooker. What a fucking palaver. What, this is just a chaos. That has to, some people in the chat room are saying, I think that was the worst frame. He can't go to bed now, Ian Amazon, because uh, we have to play me 30, <laughs> oversensitive me. Oh, he's a crap character as well. Versus me, 40. Who, the people in the chat room, it's not going to plug in my computer. Oh. And that big, it's a really big wasp. And I can't see Brian Wasp on the desk and that makes me quite scared. Um, anyone got any suggestions as to what who, characteristics me, 40 could have? And I've taken... The wonderful insect murdering me. Um, the commentators might be talking to the wasp for the next time. I don't know where the wasp ended up. It survived. Um, that's all I know. Why is the attic trashed? It's, this is just how it is. Um, has Richard lost it? Goat me? No. Bush to fishmonger me? No. PC gone mad me is what we've just had twice. Start bad, tailed off in the middle, and less said about the end, the better. Uh, Brian's brother, amnesiac me, truculent me. It's ah, apartheid era, white South African me. That's not going to happen. Anti-vax me. That we've got enough of those. Christmas me. 
Now that might be an idea. Christmas me, I wouldn't have thought of that. Commentator 2 could play. That's quite a good idea as well. Um, though he doesn't really like self-playing snooker. Uh, woke me. All of the me's are woke dude apart from a couple of them. Uh, rich tidy up. No, it's my space where I work. Uh, I think we're going to go for Christmas me. I think that's a good... Uh, Andy McH agrees, and he's in charge of... Uh, he's in charge of the scoreboard. So it's already in there. Daisy May Cooper me. It has to be something that I am, and I am, uh, I am a Christmassy me. So let's talk to those two players. Let's uh, meet... Oh, well, we have to wrap up with the other two, don't we? I don't know why I'm going straight to the final map. Let's talk to the players we just had. I can just see they're sitting down here. First of all is the loser... Uh, pervert me. I enjoyed that. Did you? Was that what you? Yeah, I like losing. <laughs> okay. So did you lose on purpose? Because no me does that. I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I didn't. I'm just saying I like losing. I also like winning. Oh. Well, it's been lovely to meet you. Oh, such a shame you're not going to be wanking in a bush. I will be wanking in a bush during the rest of the tournament. Okay. We'll look out for you. We'll see if we can get the Taskmaster technical team into that. I mean, if we could get them together, we didn't have the useless Chris Evans, not that one. <laughs> then, um, yeah, you know. Nightbot letting you know future Rahalastapa guests include Alexi Sale, Catherine Bohart and Nina Conti. Alexi Sale on the 23rd of December. We've got uh, uh, Luke Conran tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Uh, Tuesday, not Wednesday this week, because I'm doing a gig at Hartford Theatre. If Hartford can stay corona-free... Um, and let's talk to Meninist Me uh, as well. He's just sat down. Hello. Yeah, I am the best at playing snooker. Brilliant. Let's move on to the next frame. <laughs> I was hoping to be finished by now. My wife's still wrapping new Christmas presents. Let's talk to Oversensitive Me. He's just sitting down. Let's see how he's going. Hopefully referee one is sitting up in the background behind us. Hi, Rich. Yeah, um, it's good to be here. And uh, thanks for having me back. It's a delight to have you here. What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm really happy to have you. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, I'm, you know, I, I always liked you. I thought I heard you say in the previous frame you thought I was a bad character. I mean, that's not oversensitive because I did say that, so... Well, think about what you're saying. It's, it's hurtful. Yeah, I mean, I am oversensitive myself, so I understand... Um, I understand how you, where you're coming from, mate. I hope you can win a, a frame so that... that Will that cheer you up? Do you, do you think I need to win a frame to cheer me up? you think I'm that unhappy that I need cheering up by winning a frame of snooker? I'm just trying to help, mate. I don't need your help. I'm fine. Thanks for nothing. Do you think you're going to win the frame? I don't know. Oh, dear. And... Um, me, 40. It's lovely to meet you. I hope you'll be oversensitive to me because he's a cunt. What did you call me? I'm still here. Oh, well, that wasn't oversensitive. That was an undersensitive anything. Thank you to Dax Rank, who's just subscribed for five months with uh, Twi Twi Prime. Please all do that. You were all doing so well with that, and then you all just stopped doing it. Go back. If you've subscribed before, go back and subscribe again. I might mention your name. You never know. Here's Christmas me. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, it's in the singing of a street corner choir. It's going home and getting warm by the fire. Oh, no, whenever you find love, it feels like Christmas. We can't afford to pay the Muppets for you singing that song. So, uh, oh, no, they won't mind. They love Christmas so much. They don't care about the money. They care about spreading happiness to all the world long. I mean, you're just doing an impression of... I mean, it's lucky you're not that good at impressions. I'm not impression me. I'm Christmas me. Happy Christmas, everyone. It's going to be the best one ever. I've got 2019 brothers. And they've all passed away in the day. It's not it's my being Scrooge here. I should have done Scrooge me. You are Scrooge. Oh, let me take you to your Christmas present. Your wife is wrapping Christmas presents next door whilst you play snooker against yourself. Ho, 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 that's not very Christmassy. Yeah, well, you know, snooker's Christmassy, isn't it? Oh, ho, ho, no. It's wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the heart. 
the special kind of caring that makes your dreams impart. It's not the right words. I was close. It is the season of the spirit. The message, if you hear it, is make it last all year. I mean, that's not, that isn't Christmas. That's that's the ghost of Christmas present from the Muppet Christmas Carol. That's not rocking around the Christmas tree. Yeah, okay. Let's go and play some snooker. Uh, hopefully it's all set up. Let's go back to Commentator 1, Commentator 2. Commentator 2 didn't turn up in that game, amazingly. Uh, and <laughs> we will see. I can do the whole film if you like. Um, when a cold wind blows, it chills you, chills you to the bone. That there's nothing of cancerous as feeling, uh, for not cancerous, uh, the spirit of feeling alone. It gets you with indif it paints you with indifference like a lady paints with rouge. And the worst of the worst and the burst of the burst is the man that they call Scrooge. Oh, they're good. They're on many, the songs of many, it's Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, she says, Mr. Pancakes, he comes, Mr. Mums. If you want a thing of being in, then look at Scrooge. If Scrooge in me is Scroogey, then I guess you'll call me Scroogey. If he became a flavour, you can bet it would be Poogey. Let's go over to the game. Comment up one, comment two. That was beautiful, Richard. Thank you for that lovely uh, singing. Unfortunately, uh, Referee one hasn't set up the table in the uh, interim. He's been uh, busy just collating the scores with the uh, self-playing snooker federation. Um, he's just readjusting the score scoreboard and just getting on to uh, getting the old snooker board ready. Well, hopefully we can do better than that last room. I have a feeling both the players are a little bit drunk on that last one. Uh, hopefully, oh God, Christmas me is going to be drunk. But will oversensitive me? We will find out as we settle down to play some snooker and then we will know all the players who will be in the first round proper. Yeah, we haven't even got to the first round proper of this tournament. That's how bad it's become. It's interesting to watch referee one at work here. He's quick. He knows where everything goes. He's got the tea towel that tells him if you haven't, it's too late. Oh, there's no yellow ball. Hopefully uh, he can work that out. Oh, he's found it. So it's me 30 versus me 40. Easy to remember. Neither player has ever won. One of these players has never played a famous snooker in his life. Oversensitive me, chalking up his old snooker stick. And here we go. Oh no, the blue isn't on its spot. That would help. Uh, and that was referee one doing that. Here is me 30. Beautiful break. Look at that, almost textbook perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, Christmas me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's a little merry. Oh, I think he hit the pink there. <laughs> he had a lot to aim for. Uh, oh, that's bad news for Christmas me. I mean, neither of these two I really want to go through, if I'm honest. Um, here is oversensitive me. Look at that. That's beautiful play. Beautiful play. He's going for the blue center pocket. Oh, that was a, a, oh but look at that. Was he going for the snooker? It's seven nil to oversensitive me and Christmas me has been snookered behind the yellow twice now. Now he gets out of it this time but plays into oversensitive me's hands. Oversensitive me pots the nicely pots the red. Uh, can he get this pink into the bottom pocket? Oh, not, not too far off but uh, he's moved up to eight. Christmas me. I mean, at this time of year, who wouldn't want this guy to win? He's only alive for one day a year. Oh, he's missed again. Never played snooker in his life, though, remember? Oversensitive me. Has played snooker, but never won a frame of snooker. So he's going to be excited. Can he get this black? I mean, that seems a too acute an angle. Oh, my stars. He knows more about snooker than you would think. He may have snookered himself behind the yellow. But he's got a break of eight. And I think he can just hit that hit red there. Oh, more than that, he's potted another red. That was an extraordinary shot. So it's a break of nine. He can't get either of those two. I don't think he can get anything here. Going for the yellow. Oh, my stars. Oversensitive me has become the greatest snooker player of all time. He's just somehow potted a yellow 
that looked utterly impossible to pot. He's up to, what's he got? 11. He's now on another red. Oh, and that was I mean, comparatively easy. Well, uh, he's uh, the best break of the night so far, 11. Calculating, calculating, me 30, 19, me 40, zero. Christmas spirit is at a low point as me 40 misses another red. Not an easy one. Me 30. <sighs> Hasn't yet made a mistake. Nice camber in the middle of the table. Me 40. Oh, something had to go down there, you'd think. Me 30. Little plant. Oh, he hasn't done it hard enough. And me 40's off the mark. He did that hard enough. And he's on the pink. Oh, he's missed it, but he's... Oh, 19-1. An oversensitive me could clear up. This could be a break here that clears the rest of them off. They're nicely placed. He's on the pink. He's parted the pink. I don't think he's got very well onto another red though. In fact, he hasn't. Can he hit this one? Oh, he might be snookered. I think he can get out of it. Well, another seven points. It's another whitewash it's looking like. Calculating, calculating, me 30, 26, me 41. Me 40, looks like he's never picked up a snooker stick in his life. Me 30, however, playing some wicked snooker. Not that, not on that occasion. Come on, me 40, make a match of it. Oh, that is not making a match of it. He's in off. And it's 30 plays one. And surely, oversensitive me can take advantage of this situation. He can place the cue ball where he likes in the D. Oh, that one skirted around the pocket, but did not go in. Oh, and me, 40, suddenly comes into his own with a beautiful, delicate shot to pot a red. He's on the brown. He misses it, nearly goes in off, but he's up to two. He's doubled his score to two, and he might, or oh, nearly a snooker, but Oversensitive me's out of it. Oh, Christmas me just getting into the spirit. Beautiful long red into the top pocket. And he's got his highest break of all time. He's just potted the blue. He's up to six. Can he come back? He must come back for the sake of Christmas. Oh, he's got a three ball break. He's up to seven. Going for the blue again. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant plays. Potted the blue and pushed the red up towards the top of the table. So that's a break of 12. And it could be 13 and he could be on the black after this. Oh, I think he might, oh, is he gonna, is he, would he rather go for the pink? Come down the table for the yellow. He's got, what's he got? Five, 10, 13. Got the highest break of the day. Oh, just not quite enough power there, and he was nearly on the yellow. 13. And suddenly this has come alive. If he'd potted that pink, it would be game on. But uh, here is oversensitive me. Oh, and he's potted the pink. He's potted the yellow, I mean rather, and he's on the green. This could be me 40 here instead of me 30. But it's me 30. He's potted two balls. He's put three balls. This is incredible. If this had been one solid break, imagine that. He's got a break of nine. Can he get, can he get all the colours? It will be a Christmas miracle. He can't. But that's put the game almost beyond me 40. It's 39 plays 15. And then we're going to need some snookers here from me 40. Me 40. Didn't really play that very well for the snooker. Me third. This one might be over quicker than the last frame, at least. Oh! <sighs> Me 30 almost follows through. 
Oh, he goes in off that time. So he gets five, but gives away six. But I think he's done enough. He's up to 44. 21, 44 versus 21. There's 13 on the table. They can't, he can't give in, Christmas me. He knows it, he can't give in. Going for a snooker behind the black. Nearly gets it as well. Oh, I mean, I think he's probably stopped a pot here, but well, me 30 feels differently. Oh, nearly does it. Well played, me 30. Nearly goes in off, me 40. Just tries to whack it, see what happens. Left it safe. Oh, he hadn't left it safe, but he got away with it. Me 30, yes, misses. Me 40. I mean, he doesn't know what to do. Me 30. Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, that's incredible. He's gone off, gone in off me 30. It's 44 plays 27. There's still some snookers required, but that's one of them. Nothing happens there really. Me, me th oh, he's done it. Me 30's done it. And that was a beautiful pot. He has played the best snooker of the night. Even if he hasn't got the highest break of the night. Oh, nearly gets the black as well. Doesn't need it. It's 50, plays 27. Nice quick victory for the oversensitive Me 30. And that will hopefully help his self-esteem. We have Me 30 through, we have Me 29 through. The two old guard, somehow, we got through, but Christmas is cancelled. How do you feel, me too? I'm sorry, commentator too. I'm glad. Good. Back to Richard in the studio. <laughs> yeah, let's wrap this up. I'm so tired. It's been a stressful night. Um, uh. Oh, sorry, we're still on there. Um, thank you to Chris Evans, not that one, for sorting out uh, our issues. I'll get back on to here now. We don't have to have that on the board. Um, thank you all for watching. We now know all eight players. We'll talk to those two in a second, don't worry, who will be joining the top 32, apart from the ones that have been knocked out. Me 17 is joining the top 32. Me 34 will be joining. Me 20 will not. Me 21. Me 36. Me 37. Me 38, me 29 and me 30s. One, two, is it four of each? Yep, yeah, four, four of the new ones versus the old ones, four, four. Uh, we'll do the draw before next Monday. And uh, you will find out all about that. Let's talk to the players. Let's see how Christmas me is feeling about his terrible loss. He's just sitting down. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it doesn't matter, Richard. I only live for one day. And I've forgotten all the things any that I was doing anyway. All that's important is Christmas spirit. Uh, after all, there's only one more sleep till Christmas. I mean, the thing is, like, Christmas isn't just the Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is in my house. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It is. Um, there's the other one of these. I'm just going to get... I'm getting all my, my work done. Oh. If you need any swaps for your stickers, mention it in the chat room now. There'll be some other people with stickers. Um, and let's talk to Oversensitive Me, see how he's doing. Well done, Oversensitive Me. Fuck you. Fuck you. I was being nice. Fuck you. Fuck right off. Are you happy you've won? What do you mean by that? I mean, you're an irritating character to have. That's not very nice. Yeah, well, you know, some things are, are true. You're through to the next round. We will start the next round. We'll have all your favourites in, all the guys out of the annual, plus me, 38, the king of the world, me. Me, 37, the impressionist me. I hope he goes all the way. Me, 36, the teenage me. And me, 34, the motorcycling me. Sorry, me, 32, the motorcycling me. Um, me, 30, no, sorry. Me, 34, the motorcycling me. Um... We've got a few of the old guards still in, but it'd be nice to see all those players. Tournament four. Me won the reigning elite champion. And, uh... 
Hopefully I won't be this tired tomorrow for Rahalas to put with Lou Conran. Um, that's Tuesday night, unusually. Wednesday night I'm at Hartford Theatre. I don't know if there are any tickets left for that. I'm going to try 20 minutes of stand-up that I've not done before. <laughs> Ali might be coming along with me. Uh, and Thursday night, Twitch of Fun. Definitely a new uh, driving instructor sketch. I don't know about anything else. Whew. I'm not on Snake Bite. I'm on uh, some Beer 52 nonsense. I got. I did a corporate for Beer 52 and my payment was three cases of eight beers. 24 beers. I'm drinking one or two a day. It's some kind of... Um, look, at it's all, look at that, all the stuff in the bottom of it. Wow, can you see that? There's like bits in it. I'm looking forward to going to sleep tonight. Um, ah, one or two beers a day, not cases. What? Um, beer for two aren't sponsoring me, but you know, for this. But they're clever. They give me beer, I drink it. If it's there, I drink it. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Monday probably with um, the start of the tournament proper. I don't know when I'll do the draw. I'll let you know. I'll, pro I'll try to do it live. Try and find 32 snooker balls in order to do it live. Uh, and uh, thank you to everyone who's played in these preliminary... Why can't I say preliminary? Ah, there we go. Preliminary tournaments. Um, it's been some fantastic snooker and some terrible snooker. Uh, thank you to everyone for tuning in and watching. Let's see how many of you made it to the end. Oh, it's up there. Oh, 176. That's better than it was. So thank you very much. Sorry it was a bit chaotic. I was a bit drunk, but that wasn't why the cameras went wrong. Thanks to Chris Evans. Oh, watch Taskmaster. I'll be doing a Taskmaster as well. Let's find out if I've won Taskmaster. On Thursday. Am I crying tears of happiness or sadness? Thanks, guys. See you around. Bye.